Notion just recently introduced Notion notifications. In this video, I'm going to be setting up four different notifications that you can use for your agency dashboard. And the great thing about it is that you have complete control over what things you get notified for. All right, so let's kick it. The first notification we're going to be setting up right now is going to be closing clients. So whenever I close or I land a new client, I want Notion to notify me that there is a new client inside of my pipeline. You're going to go over here in whatever database it is that you're currently doing the automation. Uh, you're going to go over here to this little lightning bolt. Now, if you don't have the lightning bolt in any of your databases, that means that you are not in a paid plan. And I'm pretty sure that you do need to be in a paid plan in order to have this. So with that being said, let's click on this automation icon. And then we're going to go to the bottom here where it says new automation. We're going to click on that. And then let's change this to new client closed. Now, quick preface, I recently transitioned to a productized service model. This means that the way I collect payments is through a membership or subscription process instead of doing contracts and back and forth emails. Now, it was a little annoying to just keep up with. So I decided to just do one flat fee, no contracts, no emails, you can cancel whenever you want. And that's why I have two different statuses inside of my database inside of my pipeline. In your case, if you use the ultimate agency dashboard, you will see this outreach property. And this is the one you're going to see if you're using my ultimate agency dashboard. However, I have two of them, I have the outreach and I also have status. So and I'm going to choose when the outreach outreach is set to closed, click done. And I'm also going to select status equals subscribed. So we're going to select subscribed here. And then that is going to trigger the automation. So if the outreach is set to closed, or when the status is set to subscribe, then in this case, it says status set to in progress, because there's only one option underneath in progress. So it doesn't really matter whenever any of these happen it's going to trigger the notification. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here to where it says do this, we're going to add action. And then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of all the properties. And as you can see right here, we now have the send notification to option. And as you can see, it's a new feature, we're going to click on it. And then we're going to click on select recipients. And as you can see, it prompted me with two options, you can choose specific people or the person property, if you select a person property, it's going to find or allow you to select any properties that contain accounts inside of the database, we're not going to be using that one, because I want to select a specific person, which in this case is me. And now right here, what you'll do is you'll select yourself right here. I am personally not going to check page creator because the page is going to be created by the form itself that I have connected to my pipeline. So we're not going to be checking page creator, we're going to select myself right here. So once we do that, we're going to type something in like congrats. You just landed a new client. And then we're going to add an emoji, let's use a champagne emoji. And then we're going to click create. Now that is how that is going to look like. However, I'm going to delete it simply because I already have that automation set inside of all these other automations. However, I decided to create the automation from scratch so that you can see and set it up for yourself. So once you have all those things up, we're going to give this a test run right here, we're going to click subscribe over here on my form. And as you can see, I have a new lead right here. And then if we go ahead now, as you can see, it's creating all the stuff right here. And if we go here to the inbox, we will see that the notification is right here. Congratulations, you landed a new client. And as you can see here on my phone, I'm not sure if you can see that quite well, but we did get the notification inside of notion through the mobile app. So that's also kind of what we want, which is awesome, because now whenever I'm not home, I'll be able to also get notifications straight from notion instead of an external automation software. So that is honestly a plus. All right, so let's kick it up a notch. So let's create a new request right here. So I can demonstrate this example, I want you to do this, please. Please and thanks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to queue click here. And then if we go over to my main system here, we will see the new request pop in right here. And if we check my phone, 
we just got the second notification right there. I just got a new client request. Given that Notion doesn't have partially shared databases, this allows me to see exactly who it was that submitted a new request and tackle it straight from their portal. If you're running an agency and you're experimenting operational issues and you need to streamline the backend operations of your business ASAP, feel free to head to the link down below in the description so you can download Ultimate Agency Dashboard into your workspace. You'll be able to manage all of your tasks, projects, content. You also have a sales pipeline. And if you go for the upgraded version, you can also get inbound leads directly to the sales pipeline like I showed you in this video. You have finance trackers, notes, resources, literally you have everything that you need to streamline your back and operations of your business with Ultimate Agency Dashboard. So if that's something that you're looking for, it is a premium solution. So if you're looking for something cheap, go somewhere else because it's not going to be the right fit for you. If you're an Ultimate Agency Dashboard user, you should have access to my support ticket system. And that is the third notification I'm going to be setting up right here right now. And in my opinion, I believe this is one of the most, if not the most important notification system that I must set up simply because I want to be able to help all of my customers as fast as I I possibly can. And the only way for me to do that is to be notified as soon as humanly possible. And thanks to this new update, I am now able to do that. Now, if you previously purchased Ultimate Agency Dashboard and you don't have access to this, let me know in the comments below so that I can send you the link to the form. So with that said, let's create the notification automation right here. New support ticket notification. I want to be notified whenever a new page is added because that is automatically going to have the uh, status of the ticket itself in not resolved. And I want to send a notification to myself. So let's select recipients, specific people. I'm gonna select myself. And then I'm gonna go down here. You have a new customer support ticket click on here to create it. Now let's click on submit right here. Let's open this up. I need help with all this stuff. And if you're not in your office, then you can just go to your phone right here. You'll see the notification on your phone. You can just tap on it and you'll be able to access the support ticket directly from your phone as well. So you'll know exactly what it is that your clients need help with or your customers need help with before you come back to your office. If you're running a service based business, you should know that this is a two way street. It's a relationship between you and your clients, which means that they should also get notified whenever you make any changes, updates, or you hand in some sort of deliverable. So let's create a new automation. Let's go here, new automation task completed notification. I want to get notified whenever the status is set to complete. Let's click on done. Let's add the action, send notification to select recipients, specific people. I'm just going to choose myself in this case. And then in the message here, I'm going to say, Hey, name J just completed a new new task, please visit your portal when you get the chance. Create. And then what I'm going to do is when I go to this task and I change it to completed, we just got the notification once again. So now your clients won't need to hop into notion to keep up with what you're doing because the notification is already going to let them know what you're currently working on and what you've been doing so far. With that being said, I'll see you guys on the next video.